Hello and welcome to Holdridge's Crusade. And today we're gonna be doing uh we're gonna do some ripples first. And uh I know that's kind of boring, but <laughs> it's the 200 percent experience bonus. And I'm gonna ding on the first one. Uh I only have eight percent to go. We're gonna ding on the very first uh mission, and then we're going to uh I'm gonna stop. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna use a, uh, I'm not gonna use a, uh, lesson. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna get bonus experience from, uh, the, uh, the mission, because the 200%. We're gonna get bonus, uh, marks of valor. It's gonna be a great time. And then after I do the level 100 videos for, uh, for Paladin, Enchanter, and Druid, we're gonna then swap into finishing up the Gribble. So there's gonna be like a cut between these and we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. All right, well, thank you, Wallace. Thank you. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get there and get to uh, get inside the first mission and go from there. All right, let's get started here. All right. So this is the Gribble mission. We've done this a million times. Uh, the experience bonus just is going to make this so much faster. Uh, and this might change all my plans. <laughs> like, uh, my, my intent was to do uh, uh, the Buried Sea in between uh, now and you know, 105, right? But uh, the... Uh, this bonus, oh jeez, these give point one. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Uh, these normally give like point zero nine or some low, low, low experience level. Uh, but uh, my intent was to do buried C from one hundred to one hundred five. But now that this bonus has gotten here, I am honestly probably not gonna do that. <laughs> I am. Uh, I might do cribbles all the way uh, to 105, and then do TBM until uh, until we get them out. Like I am, uh, we might have to do some buried C in between, right? In between the waiting, there's like a three-hour waiting period or something like that for each gribble. So we might do that and just uh, kind of do that. I think that's going to be like the best way to go about this because this this should give me. Um, so I get 13 to 15% just for doing them with no bonuses at all. Uh, with lesson that becomes 20, 200% extra is like probably going to be anywhere between 40 to 60% per mission, right? And that's going to keep going. Like usually it dies off pretty quick, but since it's like uh, the way it, it's all added up, we might be able to go a little bit into, uh, into the hundreds uh getting that i know at 109 a guy told me that he got 0.9 percent experience for finishing one so it's it's terrible at a certain point maybe that point's like 105 or so but uh we'll see nice item all right wallace is sending me wallace is trying to give me gear <laughs> Wallace is uh, the decorator of the guild hall. If the, the almost all my videos are pretty much uh, shot in uh, for non-combat stuff, so it's uh, it's very nice. It's a very nice guild hall. <laughs> uh, it's, it impresses me like how much you can do uh, with the uh, guild halls in this game. All right, so we are wearing level 95 gear and we're almost 100. So we are going to uh, are going to hit a point where this is going to get a little bit difficult until we upgrade our gear. Uh, and I do plan on uh, I do plan on getting Mark of Valor level 100 gear, uh, which will be tier four, I think, tier four uh, Reign of Fear gear, I believe. I think that's how that works. Uh, I guess there is another tier uh, that I can buy uh, with the, what is it called, 
Layton Ener uh, Ether. I think there's a tier that I can buy from that. Uh, for th I think they're a thousand each from the uh, Vrinder for the Marks of Valor. Because they, they are from this expansion here. Uh, the Call of the Forsaken, so... We're gonna do something. <laughs> Haven't decided what, and depending on how many, how many uh, currency points we can earn out of this to kind of accelerate that and to get us into uh, being well geared for uh, for um, the TBM missions. Those will stop. Those will keep scaling. Uh, Gribbles will stop scaling at 100, so it won't go any harder. Uh, but the TBM missions will scale all the way to 105. So at 105, they will stop scaling. So that'll, that'll make them a little bit easier for us to do. But the mobs in there just hit so hard. Like, it's it's ridiculous. I tried another one the other day. And uh, it was just not... <laughs> not cohesive enough for me to, you know, get it done. Uh, let's see if I can upgrade. Uh, yeah. Could be... One more right here. So we're gonna kind of just blow through this. Uh, we should be able to ding, and then uh, then I'm gonna take a pause on this video and uh, continue making uh, the level 100 set of videos. Uh, I won't have the gear, obviously. I'll still have this gear uh, for that video, but uh, the the way I set them up shouldn't change much more than it is right now right it's uh it's almost a foregone conclusion exactly what spells are going to change and exactly how that's going to go the only thing i would probably want to really really change is the druid from uh being a damage focused class to less damage focus but at this point i don't need the extra healing and uh so far, it's going pretty good. Like, uh, everything wise, and with her. <laughs> I'm gonna ding before we even get done with the mission. <laughs> oh, man. Well, at least we'll see how much experience we get from, uh, from the whole thing, right? Hopefully, it's not, like, a whole level. I don't really want to be 101. If I do hit 101, I will sacrifice him down to get to, uh, to 100 so I can kind of work on that. There we go. Looking good. Thank you. Right. I don't know if we'll be using any of that on this character for sure, but uh, Wallace is such a supporter of the channel that uh, it's hard to say no. Alright, that guy is not cooperating. No. It dismounted. There we go. That's interesting. My 12 button on my mouse is to my equal sign. Uh, it's interesting because I didn't set up that binding. So it must be some kind of default behavior of uh, the way this mouse works. Alright, defeat the undead pulselings on the bridge. These missions are just fantastic for paladins because most of the time you get undead. Like, uh, like most of the time. Like, it's, it's pretty sick how, how most of the time it's undead. And it's just nice. It's just a nice time for everybody. Especially when you get the, like, the 200k one-handed uh, slay undead, and you're like, dang, that guy just dropped fast. There we go. 15k, 26k, and definitely some damage going out here. They're hitting me for 9k, though. Like, uh, what are we at hit point-wise? We're at 108k right now. 122 with, uh, stance. Is it called steadfast stance now? 
Yeah, that is, that's a good spell. I try to keep it up as much as I can. I'm going to... I'm going to be setting up some Gina uh, alerts. And I'm probably going to put them, like, right here. I just... I gotta figure out the best way to do that. Like, the problem is Gina's, like, not updated anymore, so... It's, uh... It's just, like, a terrible program. It's useful, but it's just, like, so old and whatnot. So hopefully I can, uh, I can get, a, like, a, I want to have an alert for, uh, when Steadfast Stance is down. And then, like, alerts for these, uh, short-term buffs, like Twin Cast Heal, uh, and all those things like that. Plus, there's something else I wanted to keep a check on. Just have like a little checklist right up here, like, oh, you're missing this, you're missing that. Like, uh, there was a WoW add-on back, way back in the day, that would kind of tell you what buffs you're missing, in a, in a sense. Like, you know, you're trying to get raid buffed, right? So you need your, your all your buffs from all your, all your classes, so that'd be nice to have something like that from Gina that would kind of hopefully track that. But, uh, it might... It might not work as well as I think in this game since it doesn't, uh, there's no, like, add-on system, so it doesn't really let you, you can't read, read all the buffs and see what's going on. There we go. Alright, let's grab this guy. But I'm changing up my my schedule for the series. Hopefully, I can get more uh, double episodes on days. Uh, I'm hoping, hope I'm hoping by the time this airs, I made some changes in my life and uh, I'm able to make even more videos. But well, we'll see. We will see what happens. It's the uh, what's the Reddit command? Remind me, <laughs> thirty days. <laughs> oh yeah. But this experience bonus is definitely something you should take advantage of. I don't think there will be any more experience bonuses for the rest of the year. There might be something at Thanksgiving, but it's not going to be 200%. These are dropping more coin too, right? So like, I'm getting like 10 platinum per pop, which is pretty good. Plus, I think, I think there's like a chance for double loot, right? Uh, so if, if we get a name, it might be interesting to see what kind of loot we get out of that. And then, uh, I think rares are gonna spawn, so like, when we go into the open world zones, right? Higher chance of getting rares, and stuff like that. So we want to get as high level as we can in the next seven days. <laughs> like, we want to push as hard as we can. Uh, I have gear set up for, uh, for Holdridge at 106. Uh, I was able to use the overseer system, and I think I said in one video, to get enough uh, material to make uh, him a full set. Uh, I don't have enough fish scales for the other two characters to finish their sets, but uh, I'm working, <laughs> working on it. Uh, we might we might go fishing at the end of this if we uh, if we hit if we don't hit one of six. Just go fish in uh, Ring of Scale until we get enough to uh, get all that made. But we should have a full set of Conflagrant uh, for them, which will kind of level set them at 106. And then we're going to... Uh... Oh my god, get on me. Hallowed. There we go. I don't know what my Enchanter is doing, but she's like out of mana. I don't know. They're switched over. Never mind. <laughs> Drew it's out of man already. Um, but the uh the uh I don't know. Like we're going to I'm gonna stop in TBL uh for sure and we're going to uh we are going to be doing uh oh formidable foe we got the named alright guys let's try this alright so we are gonna be doing TBL to get the uh illusion mask uh, but at that point, at 110, we'll already swap to the other group with Holdridge leading the charge there. Uh, so that's that's going to be exciting. Hopefully that's after the experience weekend. 
because <laughs> I don't I don't really want to be doing grinding experience there but you know we'll see uh, then uh, once we get once we get that mask that's gonna give us a lot of just extra buffs that we wouldn't have had normally uh, we will have to stop for AAs I think at 115 now I think it used to be 110 auto granted everything up there but now i think you get auto grant up to the cov expansion which is 115 uh so depending on how far we get auto granted we will have to grind aas uh which will be an exercise and fun uh, which will just be grinding uh whatever we do <laughs> uh i might uh, depending on the like where we're at right uh, depends on how much grinding we'll need to do for that, but all the defensive AAs are, in a sense, almost required to progress with a with a, a player tank. Uh, you can get away with it with like a like a mage pet and stuff like that, uh, but a player tank is going to need max whatever level you are, max uh, combat agility, combat stability, and uh, I think it's there's a few other in your natural durability and general sturdiness all those have to be pretty much max for a tank character all right here's blood sucker let's go ahead and get him let's get him tashed get him going it's gonna hit like a truck until he gets slowed okay that slow hit soon come on enchanter do your do your job there you go all right, he slowed. Uh, let's see here, what can we do? Let's go just burn on this guy, why not? Holy Guardian. So I don't have to worry about getting hurt. And where the hell did a teleporter? <laughs> teleporter over there. Oh my gosh. I hate that. I, I gotta, I gotta get rid of that spell. It's uh, more problematic than I thought. All right, you have no mana. You're absolutely useless. Let's drop. Uh, let's drop the AA nukes from her for now. Uh, I think I mentioned I was gonna make up a separate bar just for her to have uh, burns and non-burns, uh, but I never got around to doing that. So. A lot more hit points. <laughs> this thing's hitting for 12k. It's got a lot more hit points, but it's no no problem for us. No problem at all. Oh, we got down pretty low that time. Letting that Merc do her job, keep us healed. Uh, I think at this point, all our focus effects on our armor have like worn off, so we're not getting any kind of focuses on any of the armor pieces, so we don't save mana uh we're also a few tiers on <laughs> like on this stuff so uh, the performance here is uh or you know the the buffs kind of outweigh the some of the armor issues that we got going on since i am i'm pushing as fast as i can for uh for these guys uh, we are going the, the series will not end when they get 120 right or 125 they are going to uh, be spending a lot of time getting all the other group missions done and all that stuff. So it's just once we, the game really opens up when you get to max level. <laughs> Let's just say that because we still have to go farm a bunch of AAs. And so that's why kind of why I don't want to do the progression in some of these expansions because they just give AAs, right? And we're going to eventually get capped on AAs. I'm, I've been throwing them all in like trade skill stuff, but... Uh, I would rather throw those into something we don't get auto granted, right? So it's kind of kind of a reasoning behind a lot of the stuff I do. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa! Holy, holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! All right, so we got two blood drinkers uh, coatings. <laughs> These are lore. Uh, they're tradable, so we're gonna give one to my druid and one to my enchanter because I already got mine yesterday. Uh, we got two Primal Force Rings, which is a tanking ring, because it's got form of defense. We're going to give that to Holdridge. 
Give the other one to her. Uh, that's like four million. <laughs> those two drinking, uh, those two drinks, uh, those are like, that's like a two million each on the uh, bazaar if they sell. Then a signet of fury, which is an even better ring. Uh, we're going to take that on Aldridge. Uh, very nice. Jeez. All right. What did you send me? Ooh. That's nice. All right. Those are very nice. Jeez. Uh, let's see here. So let's finish up this mission real quick. Uh, that was just, that's a holy crap is what that is. So, um, now on the, the blood drinkers, that means I have four of them total. I have one on my monk, one on Holdridge and one on these two guys. So I will probably, I can probably give one to my bard. Um, I think a bard can use it, right? Yeah, 2% of melee damage is that. So I'll give one to my bard and then one to my uh, my shaman. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe no Marie. Uh, but definitely that is that is a WTF loot right there. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I grinded from 75 until now here and I only saw one drop. And uh, I grinded Tawani here from seven, you know, I came here off and on with Tawani. 75 up, right? Didn't see one drop. I took one, I took it off my Shadow Knight uh, from my other account to give it to her. And then my, yeah, I didn't see it on any of my other characters. And I've done a lot of gribbles in my day. I think uh, my uh, Necromancer has 200,000 of the uh, Marks of Valor, maybe more, uh, from just like grinding and taking them all off all my other characters and stuff. So definitely, uh, definitely a good day for sure. But I mean, <laughs> I might sell one just to recoup the cost of making these characters, right? It's, you know, you're going, you're going like a million in on uh, making a character, at least bare minimum. All right, let's go inhale him. All right, now we can go finish this up. So we are 98%. We got all that experience for uh, like, it's like 0 0.1 per kill. Like it's insane. Like, yeah, like 0 0.1 per kill inside of a mission is insane because like there's no competition. And they're easy, and I'm slaying them left and right. I'm not even trying. All right, here we go. How much experience do we get? Thirty-three percent. Everybody hit one hundred. Everybody hit everything. All right. Wow. All right. So let's take a look at all. Jeez, look at all these haze. Insane. Oh my gosh. Look at this. All right. What do we got? We got Essence of the Dragon. It didn't even give it to us. You gained it for zero points. Cost zero. Train. Uh, well, we can train it for the mercenary, right? It gives them the immunity to the aura in uh, Empires of Kunar, right? All right. Uh, see, Innate Prowess, Bold Attacks, Mental Clarity, Spire, General Sturdiness. Like, I think we gained... Uh, let's see, we we're at 122. Oh, yeah, we gained a thousand hit points. Uh, mystical attuning, planar power, improved stuns, uh, healing improvements. Uh, let's see here, better stuns. You know, just these are all like plus ones to whatever we, you know, we already had, right? More buff slots. That's so great. Uh, general sturdiness, more HP, more power, improved. Man for honor. Does it slow yet? That's a real question. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it does. So now, the man for honor, which is our uh, our one of our taunt abilities, will now do helix of the undying on undead targets, reducing their speed by fifty five percent and their chance to dual wield. So now we are like an enchanter for undead. <laughs> well, I guess maybe a shaman for undead would be a better term for that because we can we can now slow everything that's undead 
Uh, we picked up Slay Undead 11. Or no, Slay Undead 12 is where we're at now. Uh, 4.8% chance to uh, do 2,800 2, extra damage. So there's that Slay Undead. Speed of the Saviors, these are all plus ones. Oh, we got a new ability called Mars Gift. Uh, when activated, offers a silent prayer to Mar, which instantly heals uh, 20,000 health, restores 10,000 mana, and 4,500 endurance. Holy smokes. And that's on a 10 second or 10 minute cooldown. <laughs> 10 seconds. Jeez. That's incredible. All right. Uh, combat stability, combat agility, planar power 60. Enhanced Aggression, Expansive Mind, Expansive Mental, Armor of the Inquisitor, Beacon. Everything just, everything's better. Everything's better now. We got more improved done. Another Slay Undead. Another Gift of, what's, what does Gift of Resurrection do now? Uh, 20 second timer, 96% res. All right, so it just goes down. The amount of time it takes to redo that divine stuns more beacons uh mars salvation thunder of karana a new ability all right these are what i'm looking for really uh thunder of karana right here when activated it increases the base damage of your spells by 75 percent the chance your direct damage spells will land a critical by 15 and the oh so this is a like a like a good burn for if I casting nukes and stuff. Uh, let's see here. Halt the dead. Vanquish of the fallen. What is this? Uh, <laughs> every three minutes, do 91,000 to undead. Thank you very much. Well, I actually know. It's this rank. 89,000 to undead. Every three minutes. All right. I'm going to put you on my bar somewhere. We'll figure that out later. That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Innate run speed uh, seven, so we can now run the fastest that you can. Uh, haste and undivided information that just speeds up that spell that I never use. Stoicism. What is that? Stoicism right here. Oh, you. I won't get pushed back as far. Enhance for uh, twin strike. Act of valor. Uh, rank two. What? <laughs> What can this possibly do? Allows you to sacrifice yourself. Yeah, transfer your health. All right. Uh, battlefield vengeance and eight uh, metabolism. Divine protectors unity. Oh, so divine protectors unity got updated. So that means we get new spells. Uh, we are at fifteen thousand AAs. This is insane. All right. Let's go over here. Let's. Check out the Enchanter real quick. Man, she got a bunch of stuff too. Uh, hers is not going to be as a comprehensive. Uh, so same kind of things. Just plus ones to everything. There. And plus ones all that. So we got Illusions of Grandeur. Uh, da -da, what is that? Uh, shares an illusion of grandeur with all your group members, increasing their damage. All right, that's a that's a good spell. We're gonna put that right here. Illusion of grandeur, doppelganger twenty four. We already had that. Gracious gift of mana. What is a gracious gift of mana? Passability grants your ninety six or higher. What? <laughs> no, my level ninety six or higher. I'm. Oh yeah, I'm level 100 now. <laughs> uh, damaging spells 10%. Give everybody a gift of mana. Wow, that is fantastic. Fantastic. Blanket of forgetfulness. Uh, that's just a mimbler, right? Uh, blank of forgetfulness. Ability when activated grants 40% chance. All creatures and targeted forget their attackers yeah i'm not gonna do that ever <laughs> uh maybe in a you know a situation where i'm playing the enchanter not as a box uh plus one to like all our good stuff here look at that companions fortification 109 geez uh look at all these slow new slow uh eradicate magic i believe that is 
the dispel. Yeah, that is a dispel. We're gonna put that on the bar too. Uh, see your more illusions of grandeur bind sight. I don't really need to look at it. Yeah, see through other people's eyes. I guess they're running out of ideas. Uh, let's see here. Plus one to all that stuff, and we got a new unity. All right, perfect. So let's uh, let's check the druid real fast. Uh, you know, this is a long video, so this I'm not gonna do anything else in this video. Uh, but I'm just gonna go over the druid stuff real quick. More 25% into 100 already. Uh, so let's look, scroll up, and see what she got. Big level. Uh, what we'll do is uh, I gotta do all the the videos for that so that'll be later on so we got plus ones to all our aa nukes to take all my mana we got aspire we got a new dire charm what does that do now 98 or lower without chance to break for six minutes so permanent six me six minute uh charm which could be useful but uh i don't do that in this series uh, let's see here, plus one of all our good stuff. What did we get? Anything new? The new things are what I'm looking at. Okay, convent, convent of spirit. Um, increases the chance to return to life with the blessing of the touch of the vine. You would other device, device, 16%. So pre-incarnation uh, right there. Rejuvenation of spirit is our AA res. So... Uh, we can't do that in combat though, so let's pop that like right there next to call. So we can res now like a cleric, but uh, not during combat. Uh, we got pre-incarnation. Uh, that's, where is that at? Pre-incarnation right here. Uh, ability when uh, activated, cast your highest level of pre-incarnation inscribed and you increase the duration by 30 minutes so we don't have any scribe right now i think it's a level 100 spell but it gives you a chance when you die to come back it's like divine intervention from a cleric uh plus one to all our good stuff right there the <laughs> wrath of the wild 29 nature's guardian abundant healing we got mark of the travel um point this one out real quick this allows us to mark so druids are lucky and the fact that they uh, they get three bind points, uh, secondary, first, and territory, uh, and you can use different things to bind you in different things. Mark of mark of travel will just bind you in that other location, so it's nice too. Like I have my druid bound here at the gribbles, so when I want to do gribbles, I just teleport to bind, and bam, everybody's there. Uh, but she's not; she can't like gate to wherever I, you know, else I want to bind. So now I can mark her somewhere else and she'll be able to do that. Uh, Communion of the Cheetah, uh, which is the speed spell I've been using, like, nonstop. Uh, looks like it increases the duration by, like, a few microseconds. Uh, we also gained Teleport to the Guild Hall. Uh, where is that? I think, uh, yeah, teleport to the guild anchor. So this will teleport the entire group to the guild anchor, uh, which is the uh, guild hall where I have all my good stuff. All right, more bonuses to everything. We got Vortex of Row. Let's take a look at that. Ro vortex of Row. Uh, highest rank of Pillar of Row you have scribed, which surrounds your target with flames. Lowering their attack value and all that. So that's a very nice thing to get on our bar. Uh, we'll get that into... Uh, I think my snare macro has all my debuffs. We'll get that taken care of. And there we go. So <laughs> some good stuff from the druid here. Uh, good stuff for the paladin. I mean, we are we're good to go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I thought I was going to... It was going to be different, but I uh, didn't realize we would get, you know, whatever. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to make the three, uh, you know, level 100 set of videos. And then we're going to get come back uh, and possibly we're going to go to Dark and Sea just to, since the I'll finish the Gribble 
Uh, I'll finish the other two gribbles and maybe do all three of them again. Uh, we'll do that offline. Uh, I gotta go buy armor and all that stuff. I'll do all that offline. And then we will be uh, good to go uh, for progressing. I guess we'll do some Dark and Sea, the missions, because those are pretty quick uh, as filler between the gribbles. But I'm going to be doing gribbles every chance I can uh, until they don't give any anything, any meanable, meaning, meaningful experience, right? 30% uh, 30 30 per is going to be, you know, three of them is a, almost a level. Like... I, it's probably going to be three of them as a level because of all the kills in, in, in between. Uh, so we're going to level fast. <laughs> uh, so this will be fun. But thank you very much for watching and please have a fantastic day.